Gary, uh, a moment that perhaps could be a turning point in the season, the manager said. Would you agree with that or not? Uh, yeah, certainly. I think it's something that we do, need to do is grind it out a bit more and games haven't went the way we've wanted them recently, but I think it's it's a good result for us. It's a great result and we, we pick up some points and we, we move on with some momentum. Obviously a, a fairly bright start from Falkirk today. We nudged ourselves ahead. T- to what extent were you expecting at that point we might go on and, and score a few? Yeah, certainly. I think we start the, the first. They came out the first couple of minutes, and then we picked back into the game. We started playing some good passes of play. We got the goal, very good goal by Gruff, and then we were playing well. And just it frustrates ourselves that we lose a goal like that, and then we pick ourselves back up. It comes a bit edgy. Arguably, do quite well first half, and then we go in at one each. Do you know what I mean? So it is frustrating for us, but no, it's it's something that we've ground out a win. Got a couple of more goals, got people scoring, and we just got into the next game. Shows a bit of character as well, doesn't it? Having you know, been pegged back to then go ahead and say, no, time's kind of slipping away, but we're, we're going to keep going till the last minute. Yeah, definitely. I think we kept trying to work things, we kept working hard, we kept trying to drop in and take it and, and create stuff. And it doesn't always go our way, but we keep trying. And as you've seen at the end, we got in the box a few times, we got a few headers for corners, we scored big Watson for a corner and then we got the pen and Griff scores as well so no, it's, it's good I think we, we can be a threat it's just sort of putting it all together To what extent did having the, the extra man higher up the pitch help today do you think? It's just it's just it frustrates us because at times we want to do a wee bit more and then other teams are obviously there to stop us but no I think it helps and we are, we are quite an attacking threat I would say we've started to score more goals so it's a positive some of the, these five guys back in the background were saying they, they felt a little bit hard done by today. Can you, you see why they felt they were maybe not too far away from a draw until the, the last five minutes? Possibly two teams battling it out and at times I'm sure it wasn't pretty but at the end of the day things like that have went against us and today it went for us. We, we kept going, we kept going, we kept getting down the line, we kept getting a few cutbacks and eventually it paid off for us. You said there was a chance you felt unlucky with as well. Talk us through it. Uh, yeah, I just went across the front and I got too much on it this time last week. I glanced one just by the back post and uh, got a bit too much on it this time. Charlie said to me before it that get front post, I'll put it on your head. And he did it, amazing, and put too much on it this time. But then we got one after it and uh, Paul scored, so delighted. Were you surprised if when we got a very quick look at the replay, it was a good headed finish from Paul, but he seemed to have quite a lot of space round about him? I have no idea. I was just I was behind them waiting just in case anything flicked on, but as soon as I seen it just hit the net, that was it. We were reeling away to celebrate and delighted. And the, the penalty the icing on the cake? Uh, yeah, I think Griff just took it on. Charlie done some great work as well and we kept it in that area, which we've, we've got good players to do that. And then eventually in that, that sort of area they're going to get tight to you. Griff's got great feet and then the ref's seen enough to give a penalty. And uh, what does that do in terms of mood in the camp and morale and confidence and all these kind of things? Yeah, we have to keep ourselves keep ourselves going, do you know what I mean? We have to keep confidence high, we have to keep going no matter what. And at times it is difficult, but we have to just keep pushing on now. We've got a win, we can get some momentum and hopefully the fans can get behind us again next week and we can get a win. And that's the thing, it was quite a, quite a strong backing from the fans today as always. Yeah, it, I think it does help a lot when they're on our side and the players can feel it and we're driving forward and you can hear them starting to come with us and... I know it's difficult for them at times, but you can see today it makes a big difference and hopefully that's something to send them home happy with. And with Queen's Park uh, losing to, to Montrose, I believe it was today, suddenly you know we're back level on points, albeit they have a, a game in hand still, but it's going to keep things interesting as we go into the final nine games of the season. Yeah, I'm sure it will, but we'll just keep taking every game as it comes and hopefully we can go and win next week again and start putting a few wins together. I don't think we've done that enough this season. Here's hoping we can. Gary, as always, thanks for your time. Cheers. Nice and easy. Nice and easy.